What's up everyone, my name is Alpha, and today we're back with another Pokemon Challenge video. Today we're on Pokemon X, and we haven't done this in a long time though. Uh, we're back with another Pokemon, Hardcore Nuzlocke, using only Shiny Pokemon. This time around, the Pokemon we're going to use are going to be from Pokemon Legends ZA, or Pokemon ZA, uh, which is the newest Pokemon game announced. There's a lot of controversy and a lot of debate on what game is going to be or if it's going to be any good. We're not going to do that today. We're going to step outside of drama. Uh, we're going to play through Pokemon X using only Pokemon available in the initial trailer. I don't know any recent news of any new Pokemon, but through the trailer, we actually figure out there's a lot of Pokemon available to us and we can only use these certain Pokemon from the newer games into this version of Kalos. So I think that's going to be a fun idea. I'm not sure how I'm going to title it, but it's going to title really well and hopefully do really well on my channel. Anyways, let's get into the rule sets. If you guys don't know what shiny hardcore nuzlocke are, basically you can only catch one Pokemon per route. They must fit a specific criteria this time around Pokemon from the trailer <laughs> uh, that we're doing. Uh, they also only have one life, so if they've ever faints, they're dead. So don't don't hold too much attachments to them. Uh, they also must be shiny, or they don't count, so no encounters count until you get a shiny Pokemon. Also included with that is a hardcore mode, so there's going to be a level cap. The level cap's on the bottom left. The level cap's going to be based off of each gym leader's highest level Pokemon. And also, you have to play on set mode. There's no items inside a battle, like using potions or whatever. And so it's going to be pretty difficult. And on top of that, each of my Pokemon will be nicknamed after you guys in the comments. So thanks so much for leaving a nickname in my previous challenge video. If you guys want to be nicknamed after a future Pokemon, just drop in the comments and hopefully I'll pick yours. And while I was down there, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Anyways, let's get into the challenge video itself. So to begin off, surprisingly so, there's not actually a starter Pokemon in the trailer. There's actually a, a whole lot of different Pokemon. So we're going to start shiny hunting in Route 1. There's only one Pokemon available to us, which is going to be a Fletchin. You could actually see him flying across a lot of it i did not see a fletch in there but i did see a town flame so we can use town flame and fletchling you can see where i'm going with this i can't use fletch in there so if i ever evolve it i can't use it so that's the premise of this can't use poems we've never seen so fletch in there was never seen but town flame and fletchling was seen so we can use those two uh from there we actually make ourselves into the forest chanteling forest and we're almost lost against the pikachu in here could have been a bad look from there we're gonna start shiny hunting out here as well and get ourselves a shiny Pikachu. Pikachu was the first Pokemon you can see in the trailer. So there's obviously that. You can't actually evolve him because I didn't see a Raichu at all. So that's unfortunate. From there, we're going to make our way into Route 22, which is actually one of the better routes because only one Pokemon in here, I believe. Uh, it's going to be Litleo, and we're going to catch ourselves a shiny Litleo as well. Litleo and also Pyroar. Both forms of Pyroar was actually shown, so that's pretty good. So we use both forms of Litleo. Uh, so easily catch a Litleo at its my team. And then face off against the first gym leader in the game. We're going to face off against Viola, which is going to be the bug type gym leader. So the battle off against her using my Litleo. Litleo is one of the Pokemon I always liked, even though it's not really good at all. But it's just really fun to use. So I want to use Litleo as much as I can. We beat the Surskew with two headbutts. And then from there, since they use Water Sport, didn't want to use Ember anyway. So I want to use Headbutt. Knock down the Vivalon as we easily clear through the first gym in the game. From there, we're going to make our way into this Sandy Route in Route 7, 8? One of the routes. But it's the rocky area. You can catch yourselves a Sandow out here. And in the trailer, you can see a Crocodile with the baby Sandow. So you don't see a Croc Rock. So that's something you want to keep in mind of. You can't use Croc Rock. We can't use Fletchinder. Uh, but we have to catch ourselves a Shiny Sandow. Add it to my team, which is really good. We also get the Orod, which we're going to go back and then start shiny hunting for Magikarps. You can get Love This, Staryu, and Magikarp, and Gyarados. So this is all in the water, you can see. So we can get ourselves a shiny Magikarp, which is a guaranteed encounter here. So that's pretty nice to have. Get ourselves a shiny Magikarp, evolve it immediately into Gyarados, and it's pretty good already. We also, I think we got our team set. As we make our way into about 10, I didn't realize that all the Pokemon were at the start. Uh, it felt like a long time in between each encounter, uh, but it just all was at the start, I just realized. So we head into Route 10, start shiny hunting out here. Three Pokemon we can get, Eevee, uh, which turns into the Sylveon, which was on screen. Uh, we can also get us as a Halucha, one of the better Pokemon, because it's just it's really strong. A Halucha was there, and also you get us as an Emoga, probably the worst one, so I don't want to get that one. Uh, looking up, we get ourselves the best one. We got Halucha, which I actually think Sylveon would have been the best one too. Because, you know, overall it's better. But Halucha is really good as well. So, get ourselves a Halucha, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. Add it to my team. And then from there, our team is pretty set. Uh, we just have to evolve them. Uh, which, we evolved two of them. Uh, from there, we're going to face off against Grant next. Grant is going to be the second gym leader in the game. We're going to start the battle off against him using my ha new Halucha. Halucha is able to karate chop and knock out the Moro. And then from there, we one shot into the Tyrant. Oh, we two shot into the Tyrant and knock him out as we beat down Grant. And yeah, that's about it. 
From there, unfortunately, my Fletching evolved into a Fletchner, so I can't use him. But also, my Sandow wants to evolve into a Krokorok. Don't want to do that. So that means if I get a Krokorok, I can't use it. So I decided to postpone the evolution for that. Because I made a big mistake with Fletching earlier in the game. So we only have 5 Pokemons at the moment. But that should be fine as we make our way into the next gym in the game. We face off against Karina next. Karina is going to be the 3rd gym leader in the game. We're going to start the battle off against her using my Halucha. Which is going to go for an Air Lace and one shot the Mianfu pretty easily. Her next Pokemon will be a Machoke. Which I go for a Wing Attack and one shot as well. And her final Pokemon will be a Halucha. Which survives my Wing Attack and then go for a Flying Press. Does no damage to me. I go for 2 more Wing Attacks. Not got the Halucha as we beat down Karina. Get ourselves the 3rd gym batch in the game and then from there i don't want to evolve my sand dial we try to get the acrobatics tm did not work four attempts all four attempts i got every single tm finally got acrobatics which is really nice to put on my halucha also put on my town flame afterwards so from there we can make our way into the next gym in the game we're gonna face off against ramos next ramos is the fourth generator in the game we start the battle off against him using my pikachu because i haven't used this thing in a while and it turned out to be pretty bad against the Jump Bluff. So we decided to switch out into my Halucha to Acrobatics and one shot the Jump Bluff, which is pretty sick. From there, his next Pokemon will be a Gogo, which I one shot as well with an Acrobatics. And his final Pokemon after that will be a Whipping Bell. Just one shot it. We easily beat down Ramos. Get ourselves the fourth gym badge in the game. Also, also get ourselves into the level cap at 37, which means we can evolve our Fletchender into a Town Flame and we can finally use it once again. We, we can also evolve my Litleo into a Pyro, so we can use that thing a little more as well. So, all my teams are evolving a little bit more. And from there, we can make our way into Route 11, which turns out to be the most cursed route. So, I did not use Repels. I thought I could just get to it. I encounter Trap Pinch with Arena Trap. And then from there, I know it's gonna knock on my Pikachu. I only have electric moves with my Pikachu. So I try to catch the trap pinch, and I'm like, is this cheating? Because I caught the trap pinch to avoid my Pikachu dying. So I'm like, mm, I'm pondering if I'm cheating or not. And then I walk into the next fight in the game, which I face off against the, the Houndoom. It didn't do enough damage, so I thought it was gonna knock him out easily. And then from there, it crunched and crit me, and my Pikachu went down anyway. So it's the universe telling me that Pikachu's dead. So I'm like, okay, well, I cheated kind of catching the trap pinch to avoid a death. So it came back around. Anyways, uh, we beat down this trainer and uh, lose a Pikachu, which kind of sucks. But from there, we can make our way into the power plant here. Nothing too difficult. From there, we're going to go back into Route 6, which actually is a really good route. Two Pokemon you can catch in here, which is going to be Esper, that evolves into Meowstic, which was shown. And also Honech. You weren't shown Honech or Duple, but you were shown Age Slash fighting a Sylveon, so you could use Age Slash, so don't mind that. Either way, both good Pokemon. We catch ourselves at Esper, which is going to be really nice. Esper is... Uh, the female one, which is actually the better one. It's going to be the offensive one, so it's pretty good. We get ourselves the Shining Meowstic, added to my team, of course. And from there, we can face up against the 5th Gym Leader in the game. We're going to face up against Clement. Clement's going to start the battle off against us using a Moga. I go for my Pyro, which, you know what? Only has Fire Fang, which, which could have been better. Uh, I Fire Fang immediately and then Static myself, which isn't good. And I let the Magneton's uh, Electric Terrain set up and then get paralyzed as well. So I'm like, Pyro, really bad showing by you. I'm not going to lie. I go out to my Sandow, and Sandow... As a baby Pokemon, it's able to sand tomb and knock at the Magneton. Also, two shot into uh, the Heliolus with my Moxie. I forgot to tell you, it's Moxie, so I just get a boost every single time. I knock out the Heliolus as well and get Flamethrower finally on my Pyro. And from there, his final Pokemon is going to be an Emoga, which I survive on Air Lace pretty easily. Crunch to knock out the Emoga as we beat down Clement. And from there, I think it's deserved. It. I think my <laughs> Sandow can evolve into a Croc Rock. As from there, the level cap jumps up enough as we're able to evolve the Croc Rock into a Crocodile. And my team is fully set. The team is looking pretty solid. Losing a Pikachu is kind of annoying, but you know what? I think it's worth it. As from there, we're going to move on into the next gym in the game. We're going to face off against Valerie next. Valerie is going to be the 6th gym leader in the game and also the fairy type gym leader. We're going to start the battle off against her using my Pyro to flamethrower into her Mawile and then knock him out in one shot. From, from there, she's going to switch out to her Mr. Mime, which does a lot of damage and it just light screams, heals up. It gets really annoying, so he went out into my Meowstic next. From there, Meowstic is able to get a Charge Beam setup boost. And then from there, Shadow Ball to knock out the Mr. Mime. And then two shots, three shots into the Sylveon. As we're able to beat down Valerie and Gyarados, the third gym match in the game. From there, we're going to face up against a rival in Anastar City. And Gyarados, you know, Gyarados is uh, coming into his way. It got Dragon Dance. So it's going to be really good. From there, we're going to move on and face up against Olympia next. Olympia is going to be the seventh gym leader in the game. We're going to start the battle off against using my Crocodile. 
Crocodile always looks goofy <laughs> when it's shiny. I can't take it seriously, but I'm gonna go for my Crocodile and then crunch into the Sigilyph and one-shot it, get my Moxie boost. Her next one will be a Slow King. I crunch into it as well and knock him out as well. Her final opponent will be a Meowstic, which one-shot it. We beat that Olympia in three shots, so uh, yeah, pretty easy. As from there, we're gonna face off against the Legendary in the game. A lot of jump skips here. We catch ourselves with Xerneas, and then we're gonna face off against Lysander. Lightest Sand is gonna start the battle off using a Mianfu. I used my Meow Stick to Psychic and one shot it in the face. From there, his next poem was gonna be a Pyro, which I Psychic again. Could have gone for a Charge Beam, honestly, but it works out. Two Psychics would knock him out as his next poem will be a Hunch Crow. I go for a Thunderbolt and one shot him as well, as my Meow Stick's pretty strong. Could have stayed in, actually. I could have stayed in and just one shot it, probably, but I went up to Megaros to stay safe. Uh, just Dodge the Aqua Tail and also intimidate him. From there, I'm gonna switch in between my Pokemon. I go out to my Halucha. It only has Power Punch. Maybe it could have been a better job on Halucha building, but go back into my Gyarados to weaken him and go for a bunch of Aqua Tails with my Dragon Dance. Eventually, knock out Lysander's Gyarados as we beat him down as we're able to clear through the Team Flare arc. And then from there, we can face off against a rival on top of the bridge, which isn't too difficult. Uh, we also face off against the final gym leader in the game. We face off against Wolfric. Wolfric's the ice type gym leader, and we start the battle off against him using my Pyroar. You can kind of see where this is going. I'm gonna go for a flamethrower and one shot his Obama Snow. His next moment will be his Avalog. Not too sure why, because it has weaker special defense, but flamethrower to one shot him. And his final poem will be a Cryogonal, which I go for an overheat and one shot him and knock out the Cryogonal. As we beat down Wolfric, he gives us the eighth gym bench in the game, and we can move on. The final parts of the game, we gotta go through Victory Road, which isn't too difficult at all. I've actually never got spotted by this painter. Uh, I forgot I got a smear goal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know why, but I got spotted by him. Uh, from there, we can make our way into the Elite Four and face off against the Elite Four themselves. So the final end game of the game, we're going to face off against Malva first. Malva's going to be the fire type Elite Four member. We're going to start the battle off against her using my Crocodile. The Crocodile is able to go for an Earthquake and one shot the Pyroar. Get a Moxie boost. Unfortunately, you can see the worst thing happens. Uh, Townflame comes up. I'm going to go for a Rock Team as you go for a Flare Blitz. What is this odds? It, gets bur it burns me. I'm gonna knock him out, obviously, but it burns me and I couldn't be asked. I was like, come on, Crooked Out. What's that 10% chance of getting burned on a Flare Blitz? Anyways, I go out into my Gyarados next to go for an Aqua Tail against Torko. One shot him, which I'm like, okay, that's that's stupid. I go for another Aqua Tail against the Chandelier and one shot it as well. And I'm like, oh, just clearing out everyone. Uh, from there, I'm gonna move on and face off against Wingstrom next. Wingstrom is gonna be the next Elite Four member of the Steel type Elite Four member. We're gonna start the battle off against him using my Pyroar. Pyroar is able to flamethrower, not get the Clef Key. No spikes at all, it's kind of broken. From there, he's gonna switch out to his Pro Pass, which I go out into my Crocodile. I'm gonna Rock Team into him and then Earthquake, just break the sturdy. Pretty simple. Uh, works out really well for us as his next one will be an Age Slash with a Moxie Boost through the Shield Mode. Earthquake will knock him out pretty easily, as his final Pokemon will be a Scizor, which I wasn't scared about at all. You know, if I did not kill him, he would have knocked me out, but you know what? Didn't happen. Uh, I knocked him out with an Earthquake as we beat down Wingstrom. As from there, we're going to move on and face off against the next Elite Four member. We're going to face off against Drazen the next. Drazen can start the battle off against us using a Draglich. I go for him in Meowstic. Meowstic is able to go for a Psychic twice to knock him out, which is pretty nice. Uh, her next one will be an Altaria, which I go for a Psychic. can go for Dragon Pose, and then from there, once I decide to actually set up, she wants to go for a Sing and then put me to sleep. So you know what? <laughs> nice coincidence. Nice. Uh, from there, I decide, you know what, I can't stay in, I gotta switch out. I go out to my Gyarados next, Gyarados is the only, you know, true backer. I go for a Dragon Dance, as from there, it's gonna go try for Sing. I don't want that to happen, as I get another Dragon Dance. Ice Fang to knock him out, as the next one will be a Noivern. I go for an Ice Fang, I outspeed it, obviously, and then knock out the Noivern. Her final opponent will be a Dragon, which I go for an Ice Fang and knock him out. So we end up beating that Drasna pretty easily. Now the actual hardest Elite Four member we gotta face off against is gonna be Wingstrom. We start the battle off against Wingstrom pretty recklessly, so I go for uh, my Meowstic on accident because it actually uh, I didn't mean to enter the battle with Meowstic. I my controller drifted up, so unfortunately I gotta use Meowstic. I go for a Thunderbolt immediately. It goes for a Dark Pulse and then crits me and knocks me. Out. I'm like, come on, man, that's unfortunate. I was looking to at least knock out the Clawitzer. From there, I go out to my Crocodile to get some Moxie rolling. I'm able to knock out the Clawitzer. As from there, his next one will be a Barbarico with a Mox boost. I'm pretty sure I could one shot it. From there, I knock him out, so that's plus two. As from there, his next one will be a Starmie. I survive a surf from him. I was hoping I can outspeed him, but it didn't work out. I crunch and knock out the Starmie. As from there, his final Pokemon is a Gyarados. Normal person would have took the loss and just went for it. Rock Team to knock him up, hopefully, but unfortunately, I wanted to keep him, preserve him. Go out to my Gyarados. My Gyarados is not good at handling other Gyarados because I only have Ice Fang. And when his Gyarados use Ice Fang, it actually freezes me. So I'm like, oh, come on. 
And then from there, unfortunately, I go out into my Crocodile to sack it so I could restart it with my Gyarados with Intimidate. Uh, lucky enough, I thought out against the Gyarados and then chip him down even more. He actually thaws out in the Dragon Nest once again. I'm like, oh, this might be the end. He's only at 1 HP. He knocks on my Gyarados. I'm like, this is going to be the end, isn't it? I go out to my Halucha next. Halucha, lucky enough, survives. Survives an Ice Fang at, I don't know, a plus 2 or something? At plus 1? I think it's plus 1. But either way, Acrobatics would knock out his Gyarados. And I'm like, oh, Run is saved. Run almost choked away. But either way, we beat Wingstrom. We face off against Diantha next. Diantha is going to be the final Leaf Form member and the champion in the game. We're starting to battle off against her using my Halucha against her Halucha. Acrobatics knock him out in one shot. As the next one will be an Aurorus. I'm like, if I only had a good fighting move, I wouldn't be struggling here. But I go out to my Pyro. I'm going to go for a few uh, workups as it goes for Thunders against me. Eventually, I'm able to knock him out with my Overheat. But unfortunately, her next one will be Tyrantrum. So I'm like, oh. Don't really have a plan here. Sacrifice my power, go out to my Halucha, and then from there, I'm going to go for a power punch against them. Power punch eventually actually builds up enough damage to knock them out in two shots, so uh, pretty good. We knock out the Tyrantra with like plus four. From there, I can acrobatics into the Gurja to one shot him, and also uh, from there, I actually roost up against the Gore guys. Free roost of my life. I fly against, I fly to uh, dodge the fan force and then knock out the Gore guys. As the final opponent will be a Mega Gardevoir, which actually is slower than my Halucha, so a plus four Halucha with acrobatics will one shot it. So anticlimactic, but you know what? We had the really close battle against Wingstrom. So either way, we make it to the end. I had no doubts. I once I saw Gyarados and Halucha on my list, I'm like, this is an easy challenge. And it was pretty easy. I said that, but I did lose <laughs> I did lose a lot of Pokemon. I lost five Pokemon in total. Probably not the best run, but you know what? It was an easy run overall into the end. Anyways, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you guys think of Pokemon Legends ZGA, the newest Pokemon game. And of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Anyways, my name's been Alpha, and I hope you guys have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.